Hello and welcome to another Smite First Person Commentary. My name is Alcor112 and I'm going to be taking Buckus into a Conquest game. Uh, this will be my seventh video so far. I intend to go up to ten and then maybe just ease off a little bit. Um, so, Buckus in Conquest. Should be fun, should be interesting. Uh, the enemy team, just looking at ranks, rank-wise, they all know what they're doing. Um, this will be interesting. Let's have a look at ping. That's alright. I've been recently connecting to, um, I believe it's a EU's fault. Uh, their servers are horrendously bad. I've been connecting to those recently, so it's nice to get one where it's, you know, a little low. That's, that's low. It's a tough choice. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna get lots of those, some of those, and actually, alright, alright, thank you, do it, just in case. So, Buckus, um, uh, if you saw my other, one of my other videos, I built Athena Power, a degree of power, I like the same sort of style for Buckus, um, it's, it's interesting. It's certainly a sight to behold, the power Buckus. But, I think it works. Um, unfortunately, for the first time ever, I'm going to build him the way... I wouldn't say he's supposed to be built, but certainly the way he, he should be considered building. Because that I didn't get that. I was worried about my hand. Um, very foolish decision on our behalf. That's punched us up another 500 gold, so... Um, I don't know, Sud was clever, he went around the back, but even if it was just me and Neath, we, we had a fair amount of damage between two of us. I mean, I can stop him from running away, there was no way he had his slither, because who buys slither on our rank 1? Um, level 1, rather. So, I don't know, I didn't get Fist. Ah, uh, she's going to be annoyed. Well, that's unfortunate, let's just see how this goes. So, no Fist. Um, I've already made my first crucial error in the fact that we're going to have to leg ham this. I didn't get any health pots too. Um, all in all, this is an interesting beginning. I've already done bad. Um, I've already made a terrible call. Neath did get the buff, which is good. I think she should take it. I'm not going to remedy the situation by getting... Uh, spamming those, just so I can afford to do that. Um, I'm not going to remedy the situation by getting Fist now, that would be like... Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's not worth it, I'll consider it later on, but in a, as opposed to cost at the moment. Now, I'm not going to be attempting to fill up the Drunko Beta anywhere at this point. I'm going to simply be using it when I need the protections, which is 15, so it's a decent number. Um, Gold-wise, um, I think that first kill that I assisted on, that certainly has helped a considerable amount. And it's using both the root, the arrow and the area effect from a weave to be at the best efficiency. Uh, I'm going to actually just run out over here and place a ward. I don't think there's potential for a kill just yet. So the Sneath is doing awesome. Uh, the other byproduct of me leaving like that was, in fact, she's splitting the experience between simply has a she's done having to uh, share it with a giant fat drunk man. So um, good for her, pretty good for her. I think because of the archers at this point, um, that call was quite off. Ymir's decision, so he's off his rocker. Uh, unfortunately I don't have a stun because I haven't got the Drunko meter up, so... Why is he this...? Okay, so he's, he does have HP 5. Um, so he can afford to be a little... courageous. Let's use that word. So Neath's already level 5, there's no targets across the map for her to aim at. Um, all in all, this is an interesting beginning. So, I was off changing settings, so I didn't choose support, I was sort of just chucked into roll, but that's alright, because as we've seen in the past, not great support, but it's one of the things I should probably get used to. It's getting ready to ult, which is good. 
Hopefully he's killing some guy a mile away. I'm just sort of taking him down to roughly Spirit Arrow health. That's sort of where I'm planning here. Oops. Yeah. So that's that's why I'm I'm maxing this um, mainly for its damage. Honestly, at this point, damage is perfect. I don't know where she fired that. Presumably the um, uh, the lag is coming out of the crevice it hides in. So with the belly cloth, it's a good idea to aim in front slash behind your opponent. Um, simply because that's roughly where you're assuming you're going to land. I wouldn't burp on him just because... Don't get some spirit out. Uh, what the heck. So, um, I've spammed the, um, the beads there in the... Uh, off chance that Ulla decided it was time to ult. Um, sorry, not ult. Oh, I'm just a... That was foolish. As a whole, I made some very bad tactical decisions. So I was holding on to the ult because I figured he was going to jump. Um, I don't know why he waited so long. Perhaps it was off cooldown. I don't know. For whatever reason, I assumed he was going to jump, but I decided that he wasn't going to jump right this second. Uh, him hitting me is good for me. You know, his minions are after him. He's also using mana. Um, those wards are going to tell me if Ymir is coming in. I doesn't look like he has a blink. He knows I know, so he's not going to be too complete. Cra oh, my wards are gone. All right. All right. Okay. So our blues up, which is frustrating because I'd like to be able to take that. Um, I don't know if we should, I don't know. Ymir, I think, also doesn't have a fist. Come on. So, um, again, the minions lock on instantly to the guy who hit me last, so attacking me at this point in the game is an interesting tactic. Um, so needs building stack, she's got a solid build, she's got some kills early, so it makes a lot of sense, honestly. Poseidon's grabbing the blue for himself or from one of us, I don't know. And as a general thing to go on that way. See, so I did 126. And a leg ham is... I don't know. Roughly 34. So I'm, I'm getting them down in one... One belly flop. Which does... No, it doesn't do as much as my ult. So at the moment my ult still does. If I'd known... If I'd known Neath. If we plan that better, I could have just jumped straight in and... Alright, All right, son. You having fun? It's a good day. The offers. Again, um, I don't have that beautiful, beautiful stun that you usually have with Buckus' burp, which is going to drive me out of the ball. So what's he mid building at the moment? Um, magic, uh, money boots. Not magic. Money. Impressive. And he's not gone. So what I'm sort of waiting for, what I'm, I'm waiting for, not for that. that. Will I die? Probably. I uh, may have made a terrible tactical decision, but because of that, well, I might have gotten I may have made a bad call. So you may have blink since our last little game that we had. Um, Oh, this knee is a champion among the people. So, my last vague attempt was, I thought, um, I would just do as much damage as purely possible. My belly flop was down, that wall was presenting, preventing me from running. His ult does slow, so I didn't have faith in my ability to get out. Um, so I thought I'd do as much damage as I could. Uh, drinking at the last minute was also an attempt to just call me over here. No. So, I don't know if Freya's going for the blue over here, or the... Ah, oh, she's coming for this thing. So, this isn't for me. This is for, um, Neith, I think. Or Freya. Neith, you want? I don't know. She take it. So, she should get there in time, I think it's 15 seconds. Um, 
Freya's obviously taking this, I'm just there for the experience and the helpfulness. Is ready. That's Your a left tower is under attack. So I reckon we could get... Oh no, he's holding back. I was going to say, if he runs forward, um, definitely can get him. I'm going to start the... Killing spree. Two, I think. Well, oh, yeah. It's just sort of telling you what I'm doing. So if you're a new player, um, make the most use out of the current system, the VHS system. So, um, me and Nip had a thing going there, we both knew what we were doing, we both called what we intended to do, Ymir was spotted in briefly in mid, so, um, he's heading in, but that ward should give us a little heads up. There he is. Excellent. So because of that, we now know where he is, we now know what he's attempting to do, whether he was coming in for a blink like he did before, like blaming pain in the rear. Pain in the leg ham. So Neath's laying down a weave, um, I'm hanging around the weave in the hope that Ymir runs forward and you know, blinks or something. Does something near the weave, so just in case. Uh, we don't know where the jungler is. Who is their jungler? Uh. Dang it. Oh, I don't have level 3 beat. So what that was, that was an attempt to spam abilities to try and get stuff off on cooldown. Uh, if Ymir, if Poseidon comes from behind... Never mind. I'm just going to be back right here, I'm not even going to bother. So I was greedy, but it paid out. Um, it could have gone so much worse. Poseidon's helping getting kills. I did leave Neath, which is bad. I need to get back in there and help her out. Going cooldown, because I like spamming my abilities as much as possible. Um, Neath is doing amazing. There is a flaming cat. Stop. Alright? Son? He's not my son. He's my daughter. So once I finish my um I did get the kill. So that certainly it's a positive thing. It's pushing our money well above theirs. Well I'd hope. It's not as impressive as I'd hope. Give me just one second. Um I'll be right back. Elevator music will be uh, hopefully subbed in. You know. So I haven't got any wards again. The ones here are probably running out, but we're going. Okay. He's drunk. I'm just going to sort of zone him out here so he has to run that way. And hopefully, Neath will just ult him. So you may have 37 with an ult. Don't really know what Poseidon's doing here. Unstoppable. Neath is a champion well, well, among the people. So we're sort of waiting for that. Oh, business. So you can see the lag times can be depressing. Um, he actually kept moving while he was rooted. It's a bit tragic. Uh, I would say you get used to that, but that's something that you'll never get. I'm being a very aggressive Bacchus, um, mainly because Owl can just sit here and whirlwind all day and Ymir can just sort of just tell our minions to stay in it with the wall. So as a general, um, okay. if Neath takes that, I can happily sit here and play with Ymir. Okay. So I'm going to need to go back for wards, Neath's going back for that thing. Um, the Gold Fury is completely and utterly uncovered. We have no idea what's going on there. People are incoming. So I'm just sort of leaving. 
Getting ready for that. I was waiting for the uh, push by TRL so I have beads up. So I was, I was prepared. Enemy, enemy I wasn't left, coming complete left. foolish. Um, we're actually hoping they sort of income because we're not really doing much here. Attack middle Attack way. Middle way. Yep. Attack. Uh, the entire team's grouped up. This is good. We all know what we're doing. If Tia tries to push people, I can uh, So I'm just sort of trying to get Ymir out of the fight. Uh, Ymir and what's his name? Tia. Uh, which are probably, those two are probably the most painful in terms of team fights, which is so it's good to try and remove them. Um, by remove, I don't mean like just brutally murder, I mean more like. Oh, neat. Uh, I didn't actually see how it was that low. If it was that low, I would have jumped in ages ago, sort of. I'm still hanging around because. Gentlemen. Uh, the uh, lack of stun on my burp would have cost me were it not for the fact that we have an amazing, amazing team. So I'm just running. We're just getting out in a moment. I've got quite a lot of bulk, they are still running this way, I'm mainly just going to be back here. Artemis, don't care. Artemis, honestly don't care, and that's honestly the most rude thing I've ever seen. Uh, Alright, I didn't even see her. The tower actually blocked my view. But it's alright, because at the end of the day, um, she got killed, good. I was going to say, if she didn't get killed, that was bad. I, uh, I, I've done bad, but if she got killed, really. I need... I've already got boots. I think that. So I think reducing protections, magic protections, is great, seeing as we've got a Poseidon and a Freya. Uh, Freya probably got a demon grip. So that was great. Honestly, that, that really showed what you can do as Bacchus. And what happens when Neath exists, just okay. generally. She was the greatest, 100% without a doubt. Uh, Bacchus can be a challenge because if you don't have allies like that, that are quick to respond, that just generally make amazing good plays where it counts, you can have real issues because he doesn't level up very quickly. You can see that um, I had a fair amount of assists, and I was much Poseidon. Poseidon was a better tanker than me, that's quite sad. but. Um, uh, yeah, so the only one who had less gold than me was Chuck, and I think that was mainly because he was losing a lot of the minion wave to Artemis, who of course can just push right through it, and that stack item would have been saving him. Um, it's effectively, I'm assuming, what that was, that's why. So, it's getting a little bit more, I think, Neath too. Her clearing the minion wave while I was there was helpful. I also, of course, of course, explanation, that thing. That would have increased my gold to rival um, Chucks. Without that, I would have been quite a fair amount uh, more behind, I think. So at least player damage, not the most damage taken. To, uh, Freya took most. She has an inbuilt heal, so I suppose it didn't matter so much to her. Um, all in all, a Bacchus game. 